was your afternoon spent in Rosemary? It's nice, peaceful. Had a few beers. Didn't make any friends today, though. <laughs> I'm all the only friend that you need. True. Sure. You'd like to add to the collection when possible. But apparently not today. It's a new year and we're chasing new adventures. We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. So we made the decision on the weekends to move from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RV. a view from our campsite to the park itself and at the end is the bay so we are staying in site number 28 and this is it ladies and gentlemen this is what you come for Look at that beautiful emerald green water and the white sugary sand. This is the Gulf Coast. This is what we love. So one of the things we're doing on this trip is taking a tour of locations that we want to consider for future visits. And so that's one tip. Offices will give you passes to, if necessary, gain access or they'll just invite you in on the property, just stop in at the office. For today's adventure, we are headed to 30A. It's one of our favorite places to visit when we're traveling along the Florida Panhandle. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, it is an actual county highway in South Walton County. It's about a 20 mile stretch that connects a number of quaint beach communities together. Our favorites is the eastern side of 30A, which is Inlet Beach, Rosemary Beach and alleys and for there along the entire stretch you will find um, restaurants patios for outside dining um, very eclectic shops um, a lot of locally owned businesses and it's just really a fantastic way to spend the day so very excited have my favorites. What is that? Olive oil from 38 Olive Oil. Rosemary. Wow, that's nice. What flavor is that? This is rosemary. I think I got rosemary, some kind of a Tuscan herb, and 
one more. I can't remember the flavor of it. So I like to use them on my salads and then drizzle them when I'm cooking, basically like when I'm finishing stuff. So every time we come down here, I always like to replenish my main three. So is that that magical oil I taste on the salad? <laughs> I thought it was just all you it's and seasoning. Magic. It's my magic seasoning. So you're telling the people you get it from 30A yes. Olive Oil Company. 30A Olive Oil Company in Inlet Beach. So you can order online, but I always tend to stock up when I come down and then just pick up the, my favorite flavors. Got it. All right, cool. Well, thanks for sharing with the people. We appreciate you. You're welcome, people. How was your afternoon spent in Rosemary? It's nice, peaceful. Had a few beers. Didn't make any friends today, though. <laughs> I'm all the only friend that you need. True. You like to add to the collection when possible. Apparently not today. Well, good morning. What a way to wake up to some breakfast of fresh Gulf shrimp and grits. One of the beauties of being on the coast, going to the seafood market and getting fresh seafood, courtesy of the Concrete Camper. Well, it's a little windy here today, but I'll take you around um, our campsite. I will say one of the things that I really love um, about this park are these beautiful trees that are in between uh, each of the campsites. Not only do they pri provide privacy, but it's also provide beauty. When you look out your window, I mean, what better way than to see these little pretty flowers um, in the morning when you open up your blinds? It's just so magical. So here's a peek at our day site set up at our site. Um, because of this unforgiving Florida heat, you need a lot of shade cover. And so, of course, we have our awning out. Uh, we popped up our tent just to extend the area in which we have the shade. Um, but it's pavers um, on the front. Where it gets a little bit tricky is by the back door. We're off um, the pad. And I would say pretty much any towable, uh, if you have two doors, you're going to be off the pad. And so we were able to maneuver around that. Actually, in fact, um, one of the gentlemen gave us a board so that we're not sinking in. And so we were able to put our rugs over that. And then uh, one of the things we added for this trip, and we're going to Florida um, another time this summer, is that we purchased these little bamboo wood s boards we place them right underneath our shower and so you can configure it however you want um, but what this does is allow us to wash our feet off this is our shower of course um, it allows us to wash our feet off and then have a section to walk back to cleanly without having to get the dirt back um, on your feet and so that's been very very helpful Friends, one piece of glamping advice that when you have the opportunity to camp with full hookups in this time of year when this sun is beaming down at you and the heat is on, is make sure that you pack a fan. And what's better than one fan? Two fans. It definitely makes a difference, especially when you're trying to sit outside during the day. I mean, of course, you can go inside and enjoy the AC, but hey, when the weather is beautiful, you have a fantastic breeze, fans make a huge difference. So, glamping tip. So, Reg is enjoying a little cookout today. So, one thing about these pads is that they're very deep. Um, and long so you can get a lot on there so not only does his truck fit in the front our rig fits and then you still have as you can see this outdoor space uh, to put the grill if you want to set the tent up um, and do a number of other things and then if I'll turn around for you and then this is the site um, that is the bay there and so there's this green space that all of the rigs back up to on this particular side one of the treats that you'll occasionally get, you'll see the Air Force planes and different fighters and Blackhawks um, flying by. Uh, Eglin 
Air Force Base is on the other side of the bay, and so we are um, in the route of the flight path, and so occasionally uh, throughout the day you'll definitely see different types of planes that are flying by. We have stayed at Destin West RV Resort multiple times. We just simply love its location. It's on Okaloosa Island, which is between Fort Walton Beach, Florida and Destin, Florida. But the resort itself backs up to the bay and it's within walking distance of the beach. It's also a small resort with 54 sites, half are earmarked for travel trailers and half are earmarked for motorized rigs. So as you can see, full hookups, most of the sites have the pretty shrubbery. And this is site 21. And they have square picnic tables. Um, so for those of you who like tablecloths, just be aware of that. Depending on the site, there are a handful that have unobstructed views of the bay. This by far is one of the premium spots here for a travel trailer. It's right off the bay. Wake up to the morning, sunrises and sunsets. It's site number 38. We are headed to our final walk to the beach. Our strategy is since the sun is so intense, we typically like to come out when it goes down a little bit, as well as we can catch sunset and still thoroughly enjoy. And our load is in a different less. So the resort itself is literally right across the street, as you can see, but the challenge becomes that this is an extremely busy highway. It's a four lane. And so this time of day is very congested as people try to leave the island. And so what you see off in the distance is a bridge over the highway. The only slight knit is this a nice little walk. Ventu having to play Frogger across this busy traffic, there is a walkway. Yeah, and this is probably the suggested way of taking it. Yes. Much safer. It's a little bit of a hike, but it's paved the entire way. And so also, this is the back of the resort. And so for the outside, that's another walkway for dogs to walk. Uh, they also have, is that called Frisbee golf? Yep, Frisbee golf. Frisbee golf set up. And then the blue building in the far, far distance is the restrooms. Another gym that we discovered right next door is Rick's on the Island. Um, it's really good food. If you want fresh seafood, uh, sandwiches, when you come off the beach or for a quick lunch, it's really good. Yeah. Uh, and then what we noticed is you have to walk around the back, but bonus, if you're staying at the resort, there's a gate um, by the pool area that you can walk through. So that's extremely convenient where you don't have to walk all the way around. They make it um, easy for you to call and order and pick up um, at an entrance in the back. The yeah, food is reasonably priced when it comes to Florida fresh seafood, so.
oh, it's a problem. You're just not gonna let me know that it is. You're just gonna provide service with a smile. That's why I love you. Party is over at Destin West. Packing up and headed out. Next stop, we will revisit Louisiana. We are confident this time her arms are open and welcoming to us.